So you started at such a young age to actually study classical Indian dance, didn't you? So I started learning Bharatanatyam, which is a classical Indian dance form at the age of three. We wanted to go to a, a larger school, but I was too young to enrol because the official cutoff was six years. Um, you had to be six years old to start. But my parents said, no, no, she's going to start. She wants to start. So we went to a more local school where um, my dance teacher, who ended up being my lifelong dance teacher, actually taught um, girls in her own home. And so it was a very personal atmosphere, but she is a very well-renowned Bharatanatyam exponent who learnt in Kalakshetra in Chennai. And I think I'm so grateful that she was my teacher because, and still is my guru, uh, because I learnt a very pure form of this beautiful classical Indian dance. I performed my Bharatanatyam Arangetram uh, in April of 2004, um, just after my 17th birthday, which is basically... The, a debut, or they, they translate it as a graduation in English, but it's actually the coming of age of a dancer mm -hmm. and a debut. It's officially your first solo performance as a soloist, right. and you, it's a three-hour repertoire in which you perform nine or ten p items on your own. You did this big performance, and mm -hmm. then you did your incredible um, deg double degree, and then did you say, okay, I've done all of that, cheers, thanks everyone. Did you have that moment of realisation? I was just finishing up at law school, starting to work in law firms, do some work experience. And I, I found myself emailing Indian Bollywood production houses during my lunch break. <laughs> so I just, yeah, I, I just had started doing the groundwork from, in, from Australia. And one person responded to an email late in 2007 who was the producer of a director I was trying to contact. And he said, if you ever come to Bombay, meet me. And I literally... <laughs> Packed my bags. Got on the uh, internet, yeah, booked, yeah, a ticket. booked a ticket. You see those those you know stories of the chorus girl that gets you know picked mm. to the front. Did you have to do a lot of that? I thought that hard work in smaller roles will pay off, you mm. know. And it was actually a decision. I didn't listen to it, the advice of people that I knew, and they said to me, "You have to just start with a lead role, <laughs> because if you don't start with a lead role, people think you're not lead role material." And I thought that's nonsensical, you know, I have to do my time, obviously. Yeah. And so my first audition, I got the role, but it was a very small role in a movie with a man named Shah Rukh Khan, who is a megastar in India, and he, it was in a movie called My Name is Khan. And, oh, yeah, um, yeah. Even I know that movie. Yeah, yeah, so that was my first ever film role. You were saying to me that a lot of the Bollywood actresses actually aren't dancers. They actually have to learn how to dance to right. be in, but you have this, you know, incredible training behind right. you. Is that is that a, an it's advantage? It's a rarity now. And in fact, one of the key publicity points I think around me has been that I'm a dancer because it's been many years since a trained dancer has become a lead actress in Bollywood. You've been an incredible spokeswoman for Australia, India and cultural relations. Um, is that something that you sort of went forward and said, I want to do this? Or did people come to you with that sort of desire? In India, I think what's happened is the Australian High Commission is, is extensively promoting India-Australia relations. Mm. And Bollywood is a, um, an outlet which reaches many people. And me being so adamantly an Indian-Australian and not letting go of that Australian tag um, makes me someone who can communicate to both communities in India. So I was fortunate to be the ambassador of OzFest last year, mm. um, which was incredible. And talking in forums like the Asia Education Foundation this year on Asia Literacy in Australia, that was such an honour. So I'm very glad that it's happened organically yeah. and something I am passionate about.